everybody, this is Emily with Weddings with the Cricut again, um, and I'm here to show you how I'm going to finish up the invitation that I started in my last video using Photoshop to make the text. Um, this is what I printed out. This is just the same how I laid it out on um, my printer on Microsoft Word, and this is how it printed. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut this. It's really simple. I'm going to get out my trimmer, and I want this to be 5 inches by 5 inches, so I line this up right at the 5 inch line, and I cut. And then we know that they're five inches tall, so I cut just like that. There's one invitation. And then this one I'm starting from the top and cutting it five inches. So now I have two of the same invitation. I did five inches by five inches. So that's how I use the, um, the Photoshop program to make all my text. Um, next, I'm going to only use one of these. I'm going to show you how I'm finishing off this particular invitation. First, I'm going to stamp it, and these this is a hibiscus two-set stamping set from Stampin' Up. I don't remember what it's called, but it has like three or four different flowers in it. And I am going to use oops, my Stampin' Majig dig for this particular set. Sorry, it's upside down. Um, I can see if I can do it right side up for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to put two hibiscus right here. Um, I wouldn't normally use these inks for wedding invitations, but these are the colors that I have on hand. So, um, if you want to learn how to use the Stampin' Majig, there are lots and lots of videos out there. Um, one of our designers, Samantha, has actually already done one. She's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I'm going to go ahead and just point you to that video for how to use the Stampin' Majig. And I'm just going to stamp the middle. I know it's kind of a weird position, but you'll see why in just a minute. And then, oops, I was supposed to let it show. That's okay. Okay. So we're just stamping. Some cute little hibiscus flowers. Oh, that was the wrong direction. Huh. Okay, so we put our stamp a majig right here. I love my stamp a majig for wedding invitations. Oops. Oh, well, can't see it. So we're gonna take this orange and we're gonna line this up. Like I said, I know it's kind of an awkward angle that you guys are seeing when I use my stamp on the jig, but I'm almost done and you'll see why. The thing I like about the stamp on the jig is that I can make it so that I want my stamps to face any direction and it'll line up perfectly every time. Okay, so there's my cute little stamped hibiscus flowers on that invitation, and I really like them a lot. So we're going to put all these things away. I'm going to mat this on some five and a quarter by five and a quarter green cardstock, just like that. Okay, so that's, it's cute, but it's not quite done, because we want to use our Cricut. This is something that I cut out earlier today. This is um, a cut file that I made with, with Plants and Schoolbook. It will be on the blog for you to be able to download, and um, it's just four circles with a square. And when we fold all this up, it's going to make a five and a half inch wide and tall um, wedding invitation. So I'm going to go, actually, yeah, I'm going to go grab my score blade real quick. So I'm just going to take my score blade with this little circle piece and we're just going to line up the edges of each circle and score all four times.
Then you just fold them over. When making wedding invitations, I like to have an assembly line of people. So, like, one person would be cutting them out on the Cricut. One person would be um, scoring them. One person would be folding them. And one person would be gluing the inside of the invitation. I just like to do it that way. So that's just a tip. So we're just going to take this right here. And we're going to adhere on the inside. Right in the middle. Just like that. And then the way that I like to fold this one up is kind of like when you're folding a box. Just like that. So it, it makes this nice little cute swirly pattern on it. And then I also stamped a couple more hibiscus flowers and um, matted them on some green cardstock. And then you can just lay it right on top like that. And then when your guest gets your envelope, you can put a label right here with their name on it so you don't need a second envelope. And then they get this and then they just take it off. And it's like a nice little present inside with your invitation. So that is this project for today. And um, I also decided to do a couple variations on this particular invitation. So this one is sealed on the front with the hibiscus flowers. And then I did a couple more. I did, um, this one is a purple one. I don't know if you can see this very well, but um, I embossed all four of the flaps with my cuddle bug with the lace. And then you just open it up. And there inside is the invitation, same, same people from last week, but the colors for this week for our featured couple. And then our final couple, um, I actually, I folded it, the two on the top, and the bottom, and then I folded the two on the side, and then I tied it with a ribbon. So it's a little bit of a different thing, and then, again, like when you open it up, it's kind of like a little present for your guest. So, and um, all of these, I did the exact same Photoshop techniques that I showed you. I did it in Photoshop at 5 inches by 5 inches, and then um, imported it into Word and printed it out. So I hope that's helpful for you um, and gets your ideas going a little bit. Um, Yep, that's pretty much it. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Bye.